So what I want to do next is I want to bring in an orange one. So I'm going to do the same technique, except I'm going to put in both my orange flowers. I think I have two, maybe three orange flowers. So I'm going to go with my pure orange. And I'm going to load it the same way. Now to deepen the color, can you see me? I know you like to see me loading my brush. So I try to get it where it's in there. So here's the orange. I'm not doing very good, am I? So here's the orange. Getting it loaded in there. Yeah, there you go. You can see it that way. Unless I zoom in. Okay. Exact same way. I'm going to add just a touch of the cardinal just to give it some darker color there for the back petals. Now this one, I'm going to start it right here because I don't want it on the exact same plane as this one. And I'm just going to start doing my petals same way. I probably should give myself a guideline for how wide I want it. I may go outside of that just a touch. I took pictures, I don't have them in front of me now, I should, of my geraniums. So I had kind of an idea of how different each little, what do you say, collection of flowers can be to give it variety. And I haven't tried mixing with the apple red, I should, huh? I'm going to try it with the apple red. Maybe I still had too much of the cardinal in there to really notice the difference. Oranges and reds are not opaque. Therefore, I may come back in, or I should say I shall come back in. And... Um, do another layer if I don't find I'm liking the brightness of it. And I'm trying not to get too crowded. I want to see gaps. Now here is moon yellow. Let me add a little moon yellow to the brush. I'm just going to dip it in it like I did with the red. Just add some moon yellow. See how that will bring up the color a touch. And I need to imagine my umbrella, don't I? So I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to finish that. I'm going to put my umbrella in so I can see exactly where it's all going to line up. So I have my number 10 flat, loading it as I did before. Double load it. You can't see. Get it nice and full of paint, but still have a chisel edge. So I'm going to, this one's going to be straighter. And then I'm going to start at this point. And also they can, they can bow out, not just go straight. I've got a little orange in there. That's okay. And I'm not coming from the same dot and I get that going. There we go. Those may be a little thicker than I would prefer, but once you get it all together, it really just kind of blends into the background. So I'm getting orange on my brush. And seems a little too squarish over there. So now I'm going to come back over here and bring some of these petals in. Bring one out here. Just one. Doesn't have to be a full on blown flower. I loaded a little yellow, then a little orange. I want pure color, so I'm going to wipe it out because I had a little red in there. I want yellow and orange. So that's all good. More orange. 
more orange. I want that one to be a full flower. Even if the petals are smaller, that works. So you see how it's light and airy? It's not just a bunch. Now, if you wanted to bunch them together, do the background dark, then the orange ones, and then some yellowish mixed in, go for it. No one is going to give you an F in painting because you made it your own. So there, we'll leave that one be as far as the flower, but the flowers, now we're going to do the buds. My brush, and this is the, uh, the other one I did with the liner that you get in the Donna Dewberry package. This is my Royal Majestic Zero. You can use the other one if you have it. This one just helps me to keep it, I think, a little thinner of a line. If you tend to be heavy handed like me, then it does help to have these thinner liner rigger brushes, how other people call them. There. And now I'm going to come back in with my eight filbert. I think I'm just going to go with some orange, load it up. And do my buds touch this? Alrighty, then it cut out on me. I'm sorry about that. My card ran out of space. Dot of each of the greens because I'm not going to use a lot. Just a dot. Oh, I'm not in the camera. Let me turn this around so you can see. Just a dot and another dot. And I will use the 10 Ott Royal Majestic brush that I love for detail work because I'm messy. So I'm gonna get a little bit of the green, the dark green and one of the light green. One is thicket and the other is citrus. And I just kind of mush them together. They're not perfectly blended. And I'm just going to attach it. Just lay the brush down and give the little bud just a little attachment there. Nothing fancy. This is